Hello fellow canners. My name is Lisa Bishop and welcome back to Grab Your Jars. Today I am making an old Italian antipasto recipe and I have to upfront give you a warning. I am not going to be processing this in a boiling bath water or a pressure canner. This is not a recommended way of canning and it is not considered a safe method of canning. However, I have been making this recipe for years as well as all my Italian relatives. So I am gonna go ahead and do it anyway. And because there are friends of mine that wanna know how to make it, I'm making this video for them. So here we go. Antipasto, Emma Cagini's Antipasto. For my Antipasto recipe, I use basically just two pots. My big enamel um, boiling bath water pot, I'm going to be sterilizing jars in. And so I do have some water in here right now. I'm gonna be heating it up shortly. And then I use a nice big stainless steel pot for the actual antipasto. This recipe makes 17 pints. And right now I have those pints in my dishwasher, just putting them through a wash. ingredients goes as you saw I listed my list of ingredients but I wanted to go through a couple of things with you so you will need a quart of white vinegar which is four cups you'll need pickling spice um, I actually just bought a couple of these McCormick brand pickling spices off of Amazon because my local store didn't have it in stock and if what you want to do with the pickling spices put it in some cheesecloth wrap it up or if you don't have cheesecloth, I like to use my little, oops, this one came open, but I like to use my little tea strainers. So I just use two of these. You're gonna need three tablespoons of the pickling spice. I use two heads of cauliflower. You can use one to two, depending on how much you like cauliflower. We like it, so we put in more. You're going to want at least one pound of these little teeny white pearl onions. Again, I really like these pearl onions in my anapasto, so I might use two pounds. You're going to need four quarts of tomato sauce, so that adds up to about four cans of uh, 15 ounce cans of tomato sauce. You'll need a half a pint, which is one cup of olive oil whatever you prefer, extra virgin or regular, it's up to you. You will need three bell peppers, green, three red bell peppers. You will need one jar of sweet pickles that are sliced. You will need four cups of fresh sliced mushrooms. And again, this is something if you really like mushrooms, you can add more. If you're not so much of a fan, you can add less. You're going to need one pound of albacore tuna, and I can my own tuna, so if I was making this for myself, I'd be using my own canned tuna, but we really like using wild caught, uh, wild albacore white tuna. You don't wanna use just any tuna, you want white albacore tuna. It really makes a difference in the flavor. You will need a pound of anchovies. Now, before you make a funny face, I'm not an anchovy fan. I got to tell you straight up, I don't like anchovies. But I tried to make this recipe once without it, and it made a huge difference in the flavor. So you don't see the anchovies. They actually just disintegrate, and it, it adds just a distinct little flavor, but it's not overpowering. So if you're making faces over the anchovies, I say you need to put the anchovies in. So this is something I also bought off of Amazon because it came in a 14 ounce container. It calls for a pound, but you know, I'll settle for 14 ounces. This is Roland brand flat fillets of anchovies. You will also need a can of green beans. They're in here somewhere. Um, at least one can of pitted black olives and at least one can of pitted green olives. So that's pretty much all the ingredients you need. Make sure you have your canning lids ready and your screw bands ready. I've got my lids here. And then that's it. We're ready to roll. We're gonna start cutting and chopping. So I've got my dad cutting up the cauliflower. You wanna say hi, dad? 
Hi, Dad. <laughs> um, so the cauliflower, we like to have it in fairly good sized chunks. Like uh, this is a really nice size. It fits well in the jar and we don't want them too small. So while my dad is cutting and chopping, I'm going to start my vinegar and pickling spices. So you want to put your four cups of vinegar into the pot and you want a fairly large pot because everything's going to be going into this pot eventually. And We have peeled all these little onions and we are now slicing the celery. We like them in kind of bigger chunks, um, bigger than I would use in a salad. And, oh, excuse me. We have also cut up our peppers. And again, we kind of like the peppers in a little bigger chunks. Vinegar is boiling, so I'm gonna go ahead and put in my cheesecloth uh, pickling spices. And my little tea bag thingy, my tea strainer pickling spices. And at this time, I'm going to add the celery, the onions, and the cauliflower. And I'm going to go ahead and just boil this whole thing for about 20 minutes. While I'm waiting my 20 minutes for this to boil, I'm going to go ahead and put jars in hot water. I want to sterilize my jars and keep them in that sterile water until I'm ready to use them. And I want to boil them for at least 10 minutes while they're in that boiling while they're in that hot water. Yes. So, I'm going to go ahead and put the jars in the pot now and move this over. And we'll get this going. I want to remember to stir this vinegar, cauliflower, onion, and celery mixture so nothing burns. After your timer goes off 20 minutes, you want to add your tomato sauce and your green and red peppers to the mix. Then you're going to stir those up a little bit, bring it back to a boil, and then you'll boil for just two minutes. And I almost forgot, when you add in the tomato sauce and the peppers, that's also when you want to add in your one cup or half pint of olive oil. And then stir that in. Time you will drain and rinse your black olives, green olives, and beans. And then also, I did drain my the oil out of the anchovies and the oil out of the... You also want to strain your sweet pickles. And when you put your tuna out of the can, you want to leave it in big chunks. You don't want to have it flaked into little teeny pieces. For, um, after you've added your tomato sauce, olive oil, and peppers, and it's boiled for a couple of minutes, you want to go ahead and add your strained olives, beans, and pickles. Give it a good stir. It's all stirred in together. You want to add your mushrooms, four cups. Give them a stir. And then once this mixture gets back up to a boil, then you're gonna add your tuna and anchovies. And again, the anchovies give it a distinct flavor and it adds salt to this, to this mix. In the meantime, I've got my jars boiling here. And again, you want them boiled for at least 10 minutes to get these jars nice and sterilized and keep them on, if you get them ready ahead of time, keep them on a low boil so that it's very hot when you're ready to put the mixture in. You want everything hot. You want your jars really hot and sterilized. You want your lids hot. You want your screw bands hot. And you want your Anapasto mixture hot. As this mix gets back up to a boil, and you can see it boiling in there, you're going to go ahead and add your fish, your tuna, and your anchovies. And then mix that in. You're gonna wanna let that fish get really heated, so another probably four minutes or so. And then you'll be putting it into the hot jars. And remember, the anchovies will completely disintegrate. 
All right, you wanna fill your hot jars with your pot on a pasto to within about an inch to the top of the glass. And you're wanna, gonna take a nice clean cloth, wipe the rims and the edges of your glass. Now you just wanna take a knife and go around the edges of your jar and try and just make sure that you're getting all the air bubbles out of the jar. At this point, put on your lids and your screw bands. Put those screw bands on firmly tight and that's it. Then you let these sit until they're absolutely completely cooled and I usually let them sit for 24 hours before I touch them. Um, then you check for a seal and store them. Thank you for joining me in making Northern Italian antipasto. And if you like this video, click that like button and hit subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for joining me.